Do you ever offer landscape lighting to your clients only to hear, we don't have the budget for landscaping or lighting right now. Could you please remove that from your quote? Well, then you're probably selling it all wrong. Check out today's episode to learn how to close landscape lighting sales at a 90% close rate when I interview landscape lighting Bible author and CEO of Lifetime Lighting Systems, Nate Mullen, who shares the number one mistake that landscape contractors make when they're trying to sell lighting, plus how to plant the seed for bigger lighting project sales that you're going to make later as an upsell during your initial install and the proven sales process that Nate has perfected over the last 30 years that you can start implementing right away to massively increase your close rate on your lighting projects. My name is Jack Jostis and welcome to the Landscaper's Guide to Modern Sales and Marketing. This show is all about helping lawn and landscape contractors increase their lifestyle and increase their profit from their business through sales and marketing. Now, this episode was recorded live at the 2019 Nursery Landscape Expo down in Texas. So bear with me while there's a little bit of background noise, but it's a solid interview that I think you're going to really enjoy. Let's dig in. We weren't getting the leads that I knew we could. We weren't getting the right leads. What started happening is that our, our leads are more qualified. Our sales have probably gone up by about 10 to 15% a year. We're going to increase our sales volume by a million dollars in a year. Hey guys, Jack Joss is here, author of Get Found Online, the local business owner's guide to digital marketing and TNLA academics instructor for digital marketing savvy. Today we're at the Nursery Landscape Expo 2019 in San Antonio, Texas, and I've got Nate Mullen here, who's the author of the Landscape Lighting Bible, and he's gonna to talk to us about how to sell more lighting projects and make a profit from it. So Nate, thanks so much for being here. And uh, tell us a little bit, how, have you, how tell us about your background in lighting well, and thanks. what led you to write your book. Well, thanks for having me. So I've been doing full-time lighting for 30 years, working, you know, seven days a week, you know, 60 hours a week type deal. Um, so I started out as a lighting contractor in 1990, if you will, full-time for six years. And I developed a lot of processes. I developed the multi-tap transformer, uh -huh. which everybody uses, and quite a few fixtures, and I started selling to contractors, which then led me to start a company called Unique Lighting Systems. So I founded and ran Unique Lighting Systems until I sold it to Toro in 2011. Wow. And then my non-compete ran up July of 17. So I started a new company called Lifetime Lighting Systems. But through that whole process, you know, I've installed upwards of probably 70 to 80,000 fixtures, been on thousands of jobs, and I've totally pissed off homeowners, made mistakes, which obviously failures always lead to great successes. <laughs> sure. So, you know, we have great techniques and rules and methods, and I do a lot of education. So, you know, obviously writing a couple books helps further people's career. Great. And um, what are what are what do you do when clients say to you, oh man, there's way too many lights on this bid. What are you doing? Well, there's a couple things, and I think I'm gonna start out by saying this. I think the majority of the landscape lights get sold and installed by landscapers because it's natural extension, right? right? You know, they do the irrigation, they put the sod in, they put the sprinklers, drainage, and now uh -huh. they put the lights in. So what happens is if you want to make a comparison between lighting and sprinklers, which I think we should, is a, a landscaper does not sell a sprinkler head. They sell an irrigation system. Right. They do not go mm -hmm. and they don't present, hey, I'm going to sell you 22 heads and then you come up as my competitor and you say, well, he's gonna over-sprinkler the job, you only need 12 sprinklers. Everybody goes through a training process and it takes mm. what it takes. If a job takes 100 rotors, it takes 100 rotors. The competition can't come in and say, well, I only need 50 rotors, because you would obviously underwater it, there's consequences, the grass dies sure. or gets overwatered. Outdoor lighting is so different. For the most part, landscapers will sell fixtures. Mm -hmm. They don't sell a lighting portrait or a lighting system, so they sell lights where I teach them to sell lighting, right? And it takes what it takes. So a lot of times, you know, people will incorporate lights into their bid and as, just as a number, mm -hmm. right? And they don't really have the 
the techniques and the method to install the proper lighting job. So it's very difficult to sell the quantity of fixture it takes because there's not enough evidence for the homeowner to make a decision. So what that really means is, is nobody in the United States wants to have 50 lights in their front yard right. or 100 lights in their backyard because they equate it to Disneyland, they equate it to Las Vegas, it's right. overlit, it's too bright, <laughs> my God, are you on crack? So nobody wants to do that, so they just go, oh, 15 lights is all you need. Well, that's not, that's not true. Maybe it is only 15 lights, but maybe you take 60 lights and do a proper lighting job. Uh -huh. So the way to sell outdoor lighting is you do a mock-up. You take, we now have battery operated lights. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. You can make your own battery operated lights. It's the advantage of LEDs. Um, and you go out and you do a mock up. Yeah. So you go out and you put real lights in real location. And you don't talk about it, it takes 15 or 30. And you, so uh -huh. you do an unbelievable lighting job. Homeowners will walk out and you'll wow them. That's your job. Yes. You can't create a wow, then you haven't done your job. So you blow their mind, you create a wow. And then at some point they're going to ask, well, how many lights is this? And right. you're like, well, I don't know, but when I was in your house, I was noticing you had some art on the wall, and I want to know, did you ask the artist how many tubes of paint it took to paint the painting? And of course, they'll think that's the stupidest thing they ever heard of because they bought the painting, right. not the material. So the idea here is to sell the effect of the lighting and not the quantity of fixtures. So, you, so the trick is, it's not a trick by any means, um, is to remove the amount of fixtures. So you mm -hmm. ask the client, does it matter if it took 22 lights or 32 lights or 21 lights or 18 lights? No, yeah. it's the effect. Matter of fact, take this laser pointer and just point to any five or six, whatever you want. We'll turn the lights over. We'll see if it's too much light. If you've done your job properly, every single time, they'll have you turn the lights back over. And then they'll even add some for over there. So that's how you sell outdoor mm -hmm. lighting, okay? And so unlike you know selling a landscape design where you might do a 3D rendering or you know you're going to really show people that how do you how in the sales process can you show people what lighting is going to look like instead of just saying hey here's a bid for 100 lights right how do you how do you give people that that visual of what it's going to look like oh you do it on site you do it with real lights with uh, real the, lights yeah real lights on a battery okay Right, so yeah, those real lights I was talking about are battery operated, but they're real lights, the real light bulb, mm -hmm. the real fixture, okay, on site in a mock-up. So the people walk out of their back door or front door and they see the visual world that you've just lit up. Mm -hmm. And it really is mind-blowing and your, and your close ratio gets up to be probably 90, 95%, okay? As long as you pre-qualify them, they, have, they don't have dirt and they have a nice jar and they got the money, right? right. It's the way to go. I mean. And it does take effort. You have to go out there at night, but it's interactive with, with the homeowner. And do but you charge for that? I don't, personally. Um, you know, I think with it, when you got a close ratio of 95%, you don't need to charge, and it okay. adds more value. So as long as you're qualifying hard enough on that first call or before you go out and spend, you know, how much time would it take for you to set up, uh, you know, someone's backyard with, well, with a display like that? With the battery-operated demos, which has only been about the last year we came up with it, before it used to be extension cords, wired lights. It was mm -hmm. a big process. Now it really, you can set up 50 lights really now in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But still, though, the process takes two hours. You got to get there before it gets dark. You got to set the fixtures up. You got to wait till it gets dark. Then you have to do your dissertation with the homeowner. So, you know, every time you leave your house or your office and you, you go back, you know, it's three or four hours probably. Right. So you want to make sure that your close ratio is high. Now, if your close ratio wasn't high, you wouldn't do it. It'd be a lot of work for nothing. Right. But when you think about it's not uncommon for a guy to waste, waste, take three, four hours in formulating a bit on paper, mm -hmm. right? And then presenting it. So this is just a better way to present real lights in a real location to get the quantity of fixtures up that the property demands. Right. Whether it's 15 lights or 50 lights. We were out, we were doing a demo last week and the homeowner, as usual, they don't want more than, they have some number they pick out of the air. And whatever, uh -huh. it ain't very many lights, it's 25. Well, we ended up, we ended up putting 120 lights in and it's gonna turn into 200, another 80. Wow. Because the homeowners understand now. Mm -hmm. So when you think about what happens is, is I always believe that we have an obligation to do what's right for the homeowner. And what's right for the homeowner isn't putting 15 lights when it takes 50. We have an obligation to at least have them make an educated choice to whether they can afford or want 50 or want 15. Yeah. Let them decide. 
right? And I'm telling you, if they if they have the money to afford the 50 life, not 15, it's 100% every time. That's great. Now, a landscaper is going to tell you that's all fine and dandy, but he's done a good job and he's extracted all the money out of the homeowner. They can't afford 50 lights now. Right. I understand that because it's not in budget. <laughs> but you can still come back a year later or two years later. Yeah, that's later, a great upsell. Right, and they can sure. upsell later. And they can plant the seed. They can put the infrastructure in. They can put the wire in. They can uh -huh. put the transformers in. They can come back a year later and do that. But yeah, and that's also, I mean, if you already have a client, you know, maybe you do, you know, landscape design and installation one year, calling them up a year later and say, hey, listen, we've got this new LED lighting program and I'd love to come and do a free display for you. I'm going to light up your backyard and uh, I'm going to bring wine or beer or whatever, right? I think that that could be an excellent way to get that appointment and make that upsell. So I call that permission-based selling. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to where the fastest way, it's like a slot machine of our blackjack system, right? Because you hit it on the head. If I'm sitting there and I've been in business 10 years and I do 30 jobs a year, my clients trust me and I've done a good job, I might have a Rolodex of two, three, four hundred people. Right. And I can pick up the phone and say, hey, I just got done certified being a lighting guy, went to a class, you got an unbelievable job, I'd like to come over and do a no obligation mock-up demo for you. It's a slot machine. So yeah, I can help anybody out there. You know, yeah. we do advanced classes all the time. I, I know the processes. I can help anybody that wants to go out and go back into that permission-based selling technique. Right. Right. And go into the through the Rolodex. Yeah, great. I think that's a an excellent value add for a lot of our audience here. Well, Nate, uh, tell us a little more um, for people who want to learn more. Maybe they want to do some of your training or they want to read your book. How can people connect with you to learn more, even more, about how to increase their profit with landscape lighting? So our website's lifetimelightingsystems.com, mm -hmm. um, and you can you know you can reach out to our office. We do advanced trainings. We've got an advanced training coming up September 26, 27. It's a day and a half. Sometimes we do four or five day seminars. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, in a day and a half, we can teach you the design, the philosophy, the sales, the technique, install, trick things. Sure. But you know, reaching out to the website or calling us at you know um, 760-304-8183. Um, we can keep you up to date. We do a lot of blogging and posting and things like that. But we're there to help. And and what what is the landscape lighting bible about? Tell us a little bit in a nutshell. What's that book about? So the landscape lighting bible is. Uh, just a design Bible. It doesn't mm -hmm. go into the sales and marketing. There's a sales and marketing Bible too. Um, mm -hmm. But it just it has a ton of photos in there. It goes through the process of the fundamentals of lighting, like how the eye works and why you need to right. put fixtures and how to be cohesive and the techniques so right. to really develop a very cohesive lighting job. Thanks so much for checking out this interview with Nate Mullen from Lifetime Lighting Systems. What I love about this interview and Nate's sales process is that he literally shows people the value of the lighting. So often salespeople get bogged down in technical details. The number of items, the things that you need to technically make a quote are usually not the things that your customer actually cares about. You've got to engage them emotionally and find out why they would buy and ultimately demonstrate value and by doing this sales process people will actually see the value of the lighting and how could they not have it at that point now if you want to learn more about how to increase your sales and see future interviews with exciting people like nate you've got to subscribe at ramblinjackson.com slash podcast you'll get on my email list where i'll send you a weekly update with a link to the blog post video and transcript and if you sign up at ramblinjackson.com slash podcast before friday april 7th 17th, 2020, I'm going to be raffling away a full day live sales coaching workshop with me here in Colorado, fully, fully paid. I'm going to fly you out here. We're going to do a one-on-one -on -one coaching session and even make a video for you. So be sure to enter that raffle and sign up for our list at ramblinjackson.com slash podcast. Check out today's episode where I interview landscape lighting Bible author, CEO, son of a 